Good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day trading, the 20th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market moves, now let's try and decipher exactly uh, how the market closed. Now, in terms of the uh, stats, you have the FTSE closing up 4.8 points. Pretty impressive given the fact that uh, we have uh, GBP strength, Article 50 being triggered, the uncertainty going forward, hawkish BOE, very surprising. Also weakness in oil, yet uh, although it did actually rally on a, on a short squeeze given the OPEC news regarding uh, non-OPEC potential cooperation in terms of extending cuts. Uh, nevertheless, buy still remains bearish given the protectionist stance post G20. Okay, concerns with regards to Trump's political uncertainty going forward in terms of uh, the uh, Mr. Comey's te test, uh, basically uh, testimony stating that the uh, the Russians basically had um, direct intervention in terms of the U.S. election and they actually attempted to undermine Hillary in order to get Trump to win because he's a dimmer and he can't really ru he can't rule and obviously he'll take America backwards now with his protectionist stance and his uh, lack of um, uh, political. Uh, experience etc it really is a no-brainer really if you were uh, uh, the arch enemy of the USA you would like an idiot like uh, obviously uh, the likes of Mr Trump to be in charge uh, and given the fact that he's obviously indebted he's never paid any tax etc etc he's a perfect candidate to basically jeopardize uh, and uh, certainly vulnerable to uh, to bribery and so all sorts basically so uh, it would, would make sense from a Russian perspective if if if, if, if that is the enemy. Uh, really, it's a dream come true for Mr. Trump to be the president of the USA because they can literally destroy it from within, which is really bad if you think of it, okay? And technically, it's very it's risk-averse. It's risk-off in terms of the market as well. It, from a, from just applying pest analysis, for those of you that have done business economics at university, uh, political, economical, social, and technological now, uh, technolo technological as well because obviously given the fact that the protectionist stance hurts a lot of tech companies because Chinese are now readying a potential uh, retaliation to Mr. Trump's potential trade barriers etc and uh, obviously those tech companies that are attempting to gain access to the Chinese market they'll be thwarted so again that's negative okay uh, given the fact that uh, the hacking scandal was all about uh, the uh, DNC convention hacking into emails etc that's one aspect of it economical obviously the economical ramifications of a protectionist stance politics from a political obviously uh, perspective mr trump's party is in disarray now given the fact that his wiretapping claim has been disproven okay his um, all of the, all of his other ludicrous uh, claims certainly look look uh, pale in comparison to this one so again it's risk off political uncertainty social uncertainty etc literally it's, it's it's a big risk off across the board but given the fact that the markets certainly are juiced up on this so-called qe viagra fiscal stimulus etc markets are ignoring it but eventually they'll face reality soon the german dax certainly finished negative down 40 points given the hawkish nowotny priat even the uh, weedman and even now with mr weedman's latest comments as well with in terms of qe uh, the german bundesbank as well uh, talking against QE. So again, it certainly seems like uh, the uh, QE era has come to an end. The Europeans don't have any fiscal stimulus to replace that. So therefore, one would presume European equities were even more bearish, especially given the fact that uh, you have the um, the actual uh, debate tonight as well in France, uh, the political debate with regards to the five potential candidates going head to head on live TV. Again, what are the ramifications of that? Again, the uncertainty, risk aversion, etc., etc. CAC 40 fin eventually finished down 17 points of FTSE MIB, IBEX and Stock 600 all certainly down and uh, obviously uh, into risk off or risk aversion mode. Okay, so uh, uh, the equity market certainly finished uh, we net uh, well certainly weak in terms of Asian as well, although Chinese markets were higher. That's probably one of the reasons why the FTSE uh, remained afloat. We had Mr. Evans now, Fed Evans certainly sounding hawkish as well. Okay, we have Mr. Trump's speech later on in the evening at half 11. That'll be interesting to see what that idiot has to say. Uh, and again, I, I will not refrain from calling him an idiot because compared to, to Obama, really, I mean, who's very educated, very intelligent, um, has good oratory skills, etc., etc., he pales in nothing. He's nothing in comparison to Mr. Obama. So just bear that in mind, okay? 
um, really in terms of the competition and so on and so forth really he is an idiot he's a dimwit and really he will be the liability for the Americans and I forecast is already I think six <coughs> <coughs> six months max I think before he gets impeached and somebody else replaces him more than likely Mike Pence okay so that's the status quo okay now in terms of uh, the technical picture let's just have a look at the uh, the markets themselves let's just go quickly go over to the German DAX daily chart still remaining that rising contracting wedge pattern from my interpretation that's bearish 60 minute chart did eventually sell off looking for a H&S formation so all eyes on that right shoulder folks okay that right shoulder really is going to come into play looking for gap fill below gap fill is around 12.010 so <clears throat> certainly watch out below Okay, so we're looking at the 10-minute uh, chart now. Uh, certainly held resistance. We failed to close the gap. I actually thought we were going to close the gap at one time. Uh, we did actually sell off into the close. We still have the unfilled gap below at 12.010 to close. So watch out for support below from my perspective, okay? Uh, in terms of the MDAX, it's certainly held that double top. So therefore, buy still remains bearish of the German DAX. French CAC, let's look at the French CAC here. Daily chart, the French CAC. Uh, again, it was a topping tail. Uh, we need to break this... Uh, uh, green bullish engulfing candle from Friday at 5006 in order for us to close the gap at 4986. So watch out below. 60 minute chart. I was looking for a HS formation. Uh, the right shoulder has actually held 75%, so it's fine. It's okay. Looking for this uh, HS to play out. Left shoulder here. Uh, head, obviously, right shoulder, 75%, although it is a weak right shoulder. Uh, again, looking for gap fill at 4985. So look out for look out below. In terms of that gap closing, that certainly is my expectations. Gap is gap remains at 4985, looking for that gap to close. Again, it will be interesting to see what the uh, the result of the presidential debates tonight will be, and obviously the markets will react accordingly. In terms of the 10-minute chart, we did actually close the gap above, which really didn't make sense given the fact that the euro was stronger. Obviously, political uncertainty was looming, and uh, we also had uh, concerns with regards to the protectionist stance in U.S. trade wars. And also given the fact that we had hawkish uh, ECB. But nevertheless, market does what you least expect it to. Okay, uh, support is seen at 5,000. Again, ideally, you're looking at gap fill, 4,985. That would be my target on the downside. Now, I did actually have a short uh, trade active on the CAC and the Euro stocks. Okay, but I actually closed it uh, going into the close, uh, given the fact that obviously the political uncertainty. And after hours, I prefer not to hold trades now given the shenanigans and the uh, the antics after hours by market makers. Nevertheless, that's the status quo. Okay, FTSE 100. Let's bring up the daily chart of FTSE 100. Daily chart, again, you have a topping tail doji pattern. You have a hanging man. Uh, it's very similar to a hanging man, but ideally it's a, a bearish hanging man uh, candle. Okay, again, indicating exhaustion, no real conviction on the upside. Double top still held at 7445, therefore looking for a flush lower now. Uh, again, ideally, you would like to test this previous resistance equal support down at 7390, then support at 7345. So watch out for that. Okay, 10 minute chart. You're looking at a, a lower high, ideally. So you've got the pivot high to pivot low. Uh, you're looking at Fib 61 to 75 percent resistance on the lower high. Uh, again, this is the HS formation that I'm looking at uh, in terms of closing the gap below. Gap below at 7370. That's that's the uh, uh, zone that I would like to target on the downside okay in terms of the FTSE so watch out for 7370 gap fill support below euro stocks let's look at the euro stocks we eventually did go higher and close the gap at uh, 3 4 50 and then started to flush so no real uh, argument now to move higher given the fact that all the gaps have closed again you're looking for a HS formation here now as well right shoulders in you're looking at gap fill below at 3 4 10 so bias certainly remains bearish at this juncture okay in terms of the euro stocks as well okay so from my perspective going into monday risk off looking for us markets to move lower which obviously will trigger risk aversion and send eu markets lower too okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now